Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Susan Cornell, and I am the Associate Director of Experiential Education and a Professor of Pharmacy Practice at Midwestern University College of Pharmacy in Downers Grove, Illinois. I'm also an alumnus of the College of Pharmacy, graduating a long, long time ago, and my specialty is diabetes practice. I've been practicing as a Certified Diabetes Care and Education Specialist for over 25 years. And today I'm joined by two very esteemed colleagues. So I have Dr. Sarah Giamo, who is a Midwestern alumnus of the class of 2006. That's so she, correct. She's been practicing for a few years and she's had a, a plethora of a career, which she will share with you shortly. And in addition to that, I'm joined by now second year mm -hmm. student, Ms. Kashana Dunn. So congratulations, you finished your first year. <laughs> You can take a deep breath now and breathe. Everybody breathe in for me. <laughs> <laughs> and the nice part is, you know, you finished a lot of your coursework, and now you're actually starting to apply by doing rotations in yeah. a community in a hospital yeah. pharmacy. Yeah, so welcome, Kashana. Thank you. Thank yes. you. All right, so we're just going to jump into this because it's, like I say, it's an exciting topic, and there's so much about pharmacy and so many different options. So before I actually start talking about pharmacy school, Dr. Giamo, you've had a very interesting career. So if you could just share, you know, a brief history of your career. Sure, sure. I had the pleasure of being a Midwestern graduate, so graduating with my PharmD in 2006. Mm -hmm. And after that, I went on to be a Walgreens pharmacy manager. But while I was a pharmacy manager, at the time, there was that boom of vaccines. So I was really excited about that and had the opportunity to not only participate in that program, mm -hmm. but lead it up and go to several of the different stores and vaccinate individuals. Now, this is at the time back in 2007 when that was starting to become that standard of that pharmacist really taking charge and really participating in that. Not only did I have an opportunity to do that, but I led the pharmacy intern program. And then from Walgreens, I was able to take my experience there and then move on to a role within GSK. So I worked for GlaxoSmithKline for three years, focused on BPH, severe hypertrichosis, just hypertriglyceridemia, of course. Um, twister. Yes, yes. And uh, asthma and COPD and BPH. And then from there, I went on to a medical science liaison role at Santa Fe. And then from there, I had a chance to work as a senior medical science liaison at BD in medical device, focused on the pump that they were creating. And then I took on a leadership role within there. And then Abbott called me. And I've been with Abbott as the national MSL director, building an MSL team from scratch uh, for the past two years. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's just very impressive. And you know, it, it's interesting because it just goes to show how many opportunities are out there for pharmacists. So yes. let's take you back. And, you know, for both yeah. of you, let's take you back a few years. And when you were thinking about pharmacy school, what made you choose pharmacy as a career path? So interesting enough, several things, actually helped me in the decision process when I wanted to become a pharmacist. Number one, my mother always wanted to be a pharmacist. She was a chemistry teacher and that was like her passion is that she really wanted to be a pharmacist. And when I had graduated school, high school, she had said, well, these are the career paths I would love for you. Pharmacy is one of them, a physician is another, or an engineer. So any of those three, including my father, he agreed, any of those three would be perfect. <laughs> so why I chose pharmacy was because I had an opportunity, like when I was younger, um, you know, when we go to the pharmacy, when we're picking up prescriptions, I just remember the kindness of the pharmacist that was there and how knowledgeable she was when we asked her questions, when we were concerned about, you know, acne or concerned about the skin condition or whatever it was, how compassionate and kind she was and how she knew the information and everything that we did according to what she had taught us was helping us. So I just felt like for me, I, I had this opportunity to combine the things I love, like science, supporting patients, all into one, and then teaching, because a pharmacist teaches. And that inherently is what I love so much. And I was able to take those skills, and that's why I went into the role of pharmacy. And I am so thankful and so grateful. And it's opened up so many different doors for you and yes. created opportunities. Yes. Yeah. So, Kashana, how about you? What what sparked your interest in pharmacy? I, I would say my first uh, chemistry class in high school, um, just doing the different experiments. And I knew that like from that point, I did research on what jobs I can further um, 
utilize those skills that I learned in chemistry. And um, yeah, I looked into pharmacy and I knew that then that that was what I was going to do. I pursued it relentlessly. Um, I know that when I started like working at Northwestern or even when I was going to the eye doctor at um, Illinois Masonic up north in Chicago, like I will always see people in their white coats from Midwestern and I will ask them questions because I'm very inquisitive. Um, why was Midwestern for them? And they would give me like the spiels. And I believe one of the, um, cause I worked in the NICU or not the NICU, but the princess women's um, aspect of Northwestern Memorial Hospital. And just being on the fifth and fourth floor, um, talking to the pharmacist and they were always, oh, Midwestern, that's my alumni. Um, and I just knew that this is where I wanted to go. Yeah. yeah. So it sounds like interacting with alumni mm -hmm. is really what helped you to choose Midwestern yeah. as your your college yes. to pursue pharmacy. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Sarah? You know, how did you choose Midwestern? Oh, definitely. Um, so in undergrad, I went to a very large institution and I was one of thousands of students where I was maybe considered just a number and not necessarily a name. And I remember coming to Midwestern on uh, through that interview process and meeting with the professors and meeting with the individuals, and they knew my name. And not only did they know my name, I just felt like they cared, and it just came right through. And Midwestern, being a part of that first class of 200 students, to me was just, it was a monumental moment because they could take that small town feel that they had before and then apply it to this larger class. And I had met several Midwestern grads too. One of my mentors, uh, he had come on board and he said, you're going to Midwestern. <laughs> and he wrote me this phenomenal recommendation letter. And I'm so grateful and thankful I came here because it has been the best decision I have made in my career and in my life to come to Midwestern because of the faculty, the students, the relationships I've built and where I am today because of the alumni that I had a chance to meet. So you're spot on, spot on. <laughs> and I think that's so important because, you know, one of the things is the alumni. Yes. And obviously, you know, you're very active in not only the Alumni Association, but giving back to the college. And, you know, as you know, you've interacted with Sarah probably through some of the uh, leadership forums that we've had here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, granted, some were virtual, some were in person. And then giving back, even helping out at the clinics, yes. the community service. And I think that's something that Midwestern really champions is really keeping this a family. So even though you've been out for a few years, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're still part of the family. You yes. never, you yes. never leave the family. You mm -hmm. might, you know, go out and pursue things, but we always welcome you back. Mm -hmm. So let me ask this, um, for the folks listening, you know, what is something, and maybe they're on the fence, should I do pharmacy? Should I not? And if I choose, why Midwestern? What advice, and you know, Kashan, I'm going to start with you. So, you know, what advice do you have to folks that are listening that are considering pharmacy school? What should they take into consideration? Um, so, I'm not sure if like you're coming from a different state or if you're in, in Illinois picking, but there's six options here. I know for me, um, because I'm very organized and um, calculated, I made a list between the pros and cons of each school that was here. Um, and from there, I um, honed into what was important to me. So for me, it was the class sizes, the the faculty, the campus, um, talking to the alumni and doing the, the campus tour to see if um, it was the right fit for me. The Netflix pass rates um, and just like the retention of the knowledge that you learn while you're here, the mm -hmm. curriculum. And um, I know for me, like the top thing when I was looking on the website and I was like, oh, for your appy, I can go to Belize or I can go to Dubai and it was something that um, really stuck with me and that is why I made this my top pick and I was grateful to be extended the invitation for an interview and to be accepted. Yeah well yeah. we're happy to have you and we're happy for all your involvement with student activities and community service. So how about you Sarah? You know, what advice would you share? The one thing I can share is that if you truly care about patients and you truly care about changing, right? We're always wanting to make a difference in our careers and in our lives. This is the place to come. And here's why. There are several opportunities within Midwestern to not only help volunteer and support patients, but you're working with world-class experts that sit on the guidelines for 
for several of these organizations where medicine is really changing the way that we're treating patients in diabetes, treating patients in asthma. Like these are the individuals that are influencing those guidance. So you're getting that cutting edge knowledge at the forefront right away. And not only that is the community feel that Midwestern has. If you're on the fence about pharmacy, I would encourage you to actually reach out to me on LinkedIn or encourage you to reach out to me because I'd be happy to tell you about my experiences here specifically and why pharmacy is a wonderful, booming, booming field where you can do so much more than what was previously told to you or what was previously seen. And I myself have experienced that in my career. I've had a chance to do multiple things across the different, you know, broad spectrum of pharmacy. And that's where I feel like pharmacy can really open you up to multiple things that you would have never considered. And the compassion and the kindness here at Midwestern was, I I always go back, we joke with my friends that graduated in 2006 also, like how we wish, we wish for those days, we long for those days of when we were in class because of how wonderful it was to be together and to learn the information and really now to take that information and execute out, yeah. Yeah. You know, and I think going back as uh, once again, the old person here, you know, looking back when I went to pharmacy school and granted Midwestern wasn't around at the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I got my bachelor degree at the University of Illinois, but then Midwestern opened, I became a preceptor and they actually opened up their non-traditional PharmD program. So I was able to come back and get my doctorate in pharmacy, which now the bachelor program no longer exists. It's only a doctor of pharmacy. So it is that entry level. So graduating, you come out Dr. Giamo, you know, Dr. Cornell, you will be Dr. Dunn. So you come out with that doctorate degree. And I do believe, you know, again, seeing the changes over the years, um, team-based healthcare is the future. Mm -hmm. And working with other healthcare professionals. And that's one thing we offer at Midwestern. We have other health disciplines here. And so as a student, you're integrated into the medical community. On rotations, you're integrated into the medical community. And that team-based care is really what makes a difference no matter what career you choose. Mm -hmm. And there is so much out there to choose from. So while we wrap up, let's end up with like one fun question. So let me ask this. You know, pharmacy school can be quite stressful. Mm -hmm. It's uh, especially now, you know, Dr. Giamma, when when you were in school at that point, it was a four-year program. You know, the curriculum has changed. We're now a three-year curriculum that goes year-round. So it's very fast-paced, but you're you're done sooner. Um, And the intensity of the program really hasn't changed no matter what. Mm -hmm. But there were those times where, you know, things got difficult and you might have thought, hmm, you know, was this the right decision? What kept you going and what was your favorite comfort food? What kept me going definitely was the team that Midwestern matched me up with when I first started. So I was with a group of six farm, you know, farm D candidate students, and we all were trying to achieve the same degree. So the fact that we continue to study together, work hard together, and really participate in activities throughout the four years was one of the reasons that continued to keep me going. So that if any of us were like, I just don't understand this concept, or I need help here, then one of the individuals just jumped right in and supported. And then from that, you just felt like I'm part of this team based. So the reliance on leaning on each other, I think was really key. I have a very um, strong faith in God and that helped me, you know, throughout. So when you got to those trying times, you just, Please, God, help me throughout this exam and really putting your faith in him and the hard work that you can put in really kept me going. And then I kept thinking about what am I going to be at the end of this? Like, who am I going to become and how I was afforded this opportunity? I want to make sure that I take advantage of it fully so that I can be that best pharmacist. I can be that best individual to that patient that needs me because they all need us. So that's what really kept me going. 
In terms of comfort food, I'm trying to think. I feel like I just started drinking a lot of coffee, and that has like sparked my passion for coffee, where I still continue to drink lots of coffee. So I would say coffee is really one of the mainstays of pharmacy. Um, I don't know if it's a comfort food, but it sure helped me. Yes, I, I would agree on that. I would definitely <laughs> agree. There's always time for coffee. Kashana, how about you? Um, I would say, um, just to piggyback off of the um, things that she said, um, the cohort that we have here is amazing. Um, you with, or for my curriculum, you're with these people 24 seven, basically yeah. um, every day. And you do build these relationships. And it's been, I would say particularly once your quarter was crazy for me, just because you do have that um, yeah. break in between it. And coming back from that, um, I know I fell short of some things, but the friends that I have around me, make sure they boost me up and um, make sure that I was still align with the goals that I have for myself, my GPA and the things that I want to achieve by the time yeah. I get my white coat at the end of this. Um, and also um, another thing that helped me, I am very close to my grandma. So I'm all on campus. Every time you see me on the phone, it's nine times out of 10, it's my grandma. Um, and she is probably like 90% of the reason why I'm here. Um, yeah, just listening to her words of wisdom and her, um, I don't know. Just listening to her tell me like that I can that I can do it. Um, just push me for it, and for a comfort food, grandma's home cooking. Yeah, <laughs> most likely. Um, yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, soul food for sure. Um, it's just you just want to go to sleep afterwards. That's what <laughs> that's, that's yeah. so nice, and she must be so proud of you. Too. Yes, that's yeah. great. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, we're going to wrap it up for today. So thank you everyone for joining us. And please stay tuned for our next session, which will talk about research opportunities. If you'd like more information about the College of Pharmacy at Midwestern University, please visit our website. Thank you for your time and have a great day.